Hey folks, Jim Thomas here, Fitness Management and Consulting, and welcome to our channel today. It's good to have you, and welcome back to all of our subscribers. And if you're new to the channel, uh, if you're finding us for the very first time, uh, welcome. And uh, you know, please consider subscribing. Uh, certainly hit that like button if you find the information beneficial. Consider becoming a member uh, to receive additional information, ad additional training materials, forms, documents, and videos on how to further grow and develop your business. And then to learn more about me and my company and how we can help take your business to that next level, you know, check out the links below. Now, with all that said, you know, our topic for you today, it's 11 staff recruitment ideas for your gym. 11 staff recruitment ideas for your gym. And you know, one of the things that you know, so many businesses are facing right now, certainly the fitness industry, it's finding quality staff. And there's a few things I wanna talk about here, I wanna get into my list here of 11, is number one, you know, look at this the same way that I hope by now we look at sales, okay? In other words, you know, what is our differentiation? What are we doing that's different because if we're doing the same thing as everybody else, what's that old adage? You keep doing what you're already doing, you're going to keep getting what you're already getting. I was in a, um, uh, an establishment recently, and they simply had a, uh, a, pr a printed copy that said, we're hiring. You know, in the old days, so to speak, that might have worked. But, you know, it, it doesn't appear that's going to work very well today. So, differentiation. And then the second thing, same thing when you think about your club marketing, think about it in your recruitment, is... Um, that uncontested market space. If we're doing the same thing everybody else is doing, we're on all the job sites, we're running the same the same ads, you know, we're putting up the you know the same little signs, you know, it's the same thing, right? Uncontested market space. How can we market to a different audience? Okay. So let me get into this. Let's talk about a few things uh, that I want to suggest for you. And the other thing too, I would say before I get into it is. It's kind of like when you're, when you're pushing for memberships, you're always doing it. You know, pushing for memberships, it's not a sometime thing, it's an all the time thing. Make recruiting for staff an all the time thing. Always be recruiting. You find that superstar player, you'll find a way to get them in, I promise, okay? But always be doing this. Don't just do it when you need it. When you do it when you need it, it never happens fast enough, and you're gonna find yourself just trying to fill a slot, and that's not gonna get you where you wanna go. So number one on my list, you know, share your company culture on social media. Share your company culture. And certainly, ideally, I think videos are the, a great thing to do. And they can be a minute or less, okay? Uh, it can be photos. But, you know, think about your, your company culture behind the scenes. Maybe it's behind the scenes. Maybe it's, it's, uh, it's photos and images and videos of, of team building events. Maybe it's you know, working out together. It's uh, some fun interaction in a training class. Okay? But you know, get your company culture out there. You know, too often when companies are hiring, it's, yeah, here's the, here's the income, you know, here are the hours, here's what the job is, and it's the same thing everybody else is doing. Start selling, start promoting your brand, your employee brand, you know, your company culture, show the fun that you guys are having. Because there's many of folks, okay, when, when they look for jobs and, and they stay at jobs even, you know, it's not always the money. You know, it's other things that can go along with that. So share your company culture on social media. My suggestion is, I think the easiest way to do that is just do behind the scenes. What's happening behind the scenes? Just having, having fun things, okay? Uh, number two, put your employees in the spotlight. Put your employees in the spotlight. And you, you can do regular posts on social media, you know, and part of that can be, you know, meet our general manager and then here's, you know, their favorite movie, their favorite food, their favorite moment in the fitness industry, whatever it might be, but a lot of information about them. People love reading that kind of thing and it brings this to life. This can be a great, actually, marketing tool for membership as well, but we're talking about staff recruitment, you know, put your employees in the spotlight. One of the other things I would suggest, and I'll tell you what happened um, uh, at, a, at a prior club that we were with, is maybe even consider sending out press releases on your staff. You know, when somebody is promoted, when someone has a major accomplishment, you know, send out a press release. These things will get picked up, okay? And if you're looking for a site to do that, check out AmericanTowns.com. Sign up for a, 
um, uh, a, a, a page, you know, in your local area, and then when you when you post that press release, it'll prompt you for all the papers in the area. And it's a free submission, and you'll get in you'll get in um, you know the paper, you'll get uh, in the, the website, you know, you get a lot of exposure with that. But one of the things that we did for a club is we actually promoted somebody. They were a sales representative. We promoted them to a sales manager, and I don't think we used the title sales manager. It might have been marketing director or something like that. And we put out a press release, you know, announcing, you know, this new promotion. And it got picked up all over. But the, the, one of the things that really made an impact uh, when we did that is his, his parents, you know, were so thrilled. And they ended up contacting me, and they said, hey, we just want to thank you for doing that for our son. And one of the things that was interesting about it is his production went way up, but there was just that sense of pride that so many more people supported him, and it really did make a difference. So put your employees in the spotlight. My suggestion, number one, let's share profiles on social media, you know, favorite movie, favorite food, okay, all these things, uh, um, favorite uh, accomplishment and exercise, whatever it might be. Okay, but then also consider putting out press releases on them. Put your employees in the spotlight. Okay, we're trying to promote this brand, this culture, you know, to potential uh, new hirees. Uh, number three, be on Medium. Okay, and if you're not on Medium, uh, you know, a lot of you folks know about this that have worked with me in the past, but medium.com. Okay, it's a free site, free site for writers, and if you're posting blogs and articles and press releases, you're a writer. And so you can go in there, log on, uh, get your account set up. And one of the great things about Medium is, A, you can follow other people. And so other writers, newspaper writers, magazine writers, bloggers, whomever you like to follow, you can follow them. They'll start to follow you. So you can get a nice, uh, nice interaction going here with Medium. But the also the other thing that I like about Medium a lot, Medium is really favored by the search in, search engines. You know, you could have something posted on Medium and have the same thing on your website. And what I've found to be true that in most cases, you do a search, the Medium site is going to show up ahead of your website. Okay, so it's highly favored by the search engines. It's uh, you can follow and people can follow you. It's a great way, you know, to build a, a whole brand new audience right there and promote your brand promote your staff because when you're looking for staff one of the other mistakes that I see frequently is we're looking for staff people that live right here right here next to the gym well they can live in another country they can live across this country uh, they don't have to be right there necessarily okay um, number four create a recruitment video create a recruitment video okay do a video Okay, you know, put it on, you know, put it on TikTok, put it on Instagram, put it on Facebook, put it on uh, LinkedIn, you know, put it on uh, YouTube, you know, create a recruitment video. Okay, you know, promoting your staff, having all your staff talk, you know, they give a testimony about, oh, I've worked here for five years, for six years. Hey, I just got started. I love it. I'm part time and here's what I do and I love it. Okay, and here's what I'm, here's what my goals are. Here's what they're helping me do. And maybe you talk about other perks and other benefits you know, of the position. And plus, my family loves it because they all get a special corporate membership rate. Okay, they don't want me to ever leave. Okay, so however you want to look at that, but create a recruitment video. And if you're looking for staff, these are the things we're going to have to do. Okay, but do them all the time. Okay, number five, organize a virtual event. You know, a job fair. Organize a virtual event. I mean, you can go on Facebook Live, Instagram Live, um, you know, YouTube Live, and have your own job fair right here. People can submit resumes. You can talk to them. Uh, there's an awful lot that you can do here. So host a virtual event. And you might even consider hosting an on-site event. But certainly host that virtual event. What's the great thing about the virtual event? You've got the entire planet. You know, promote this thing. Okay, and you might even consider, you know, think about this in the same way you think about sales. You know, everyone that shows up, you know, to your virtual event, to your virtual job fair, you know, they get registered, you know, to win something. And, you know, whatever that might be, come up with a nice prize they can win. But if they all register with their email, well, now you've captured that email that can go into a regular database that you're going to market to, you know, every single month. Okay, number six. Encourage past employees to return. Okay, you know one of the things I'd love to see you do is create an email database, you know, for recruiting, just like you do membership. 
okay? And everyone who's, who's interviewed or you've talked to is in there, maybe one for past employees. And you're constantly talking about, hey, you know, we want you back, just like you do with attrition, just like you do with, you know, member retention. We want you back. We'd love to have you back. You know, sometimes cir- circumstances change, okay? And so encourage past employees to come back. One of the things you know, you're only going to bring them back if they were productive and had a good attitude, and they're going to know the kind of the culture. In most cases, I would expect them to be highly productive, you know, as soon as they walk in, okay? Uh, number seven on my list is offer rewards for referrals. This was something I hope everyone's doing. If you're not, I would start doing this one immediately. Come up with a monetary reward for your staff to refer new employees. Okay, whatever that number is going to be, $100, $200, $300, $500, whatever fits for you. Okay, if one of your employees, you know, refers somebody who becomes a new employee, they get this bonus. Now, I wouldn't give it to them immediately. Maybe it's once that person's been there for 90 days or they've completed some kind of probationary period or they've gone through some kind of, you know, extensive training or something. Something that kind of vets them out a little bit. Um, But offer referrals because in most cases, your staff, I mean, they're hanging around people just like themselves. And if they're doing a pretty good job and good enough that they're employed there, you know, they're likely going to refer people in the same manner. So I, I would for sure, you know, get that one going. Uh, number eight, use niche candidate networks to recruit. Use niche candidate networks to recruit. Look for these, uh, these job sites for veterans, for disabled, for um, maybe uh, women that are uh, interested in reentering the workforce. Okay, maybe for seniors. Look at these niche markets. There's a lot out there, a lot of opportunity. And even when you start thinking about uncontested market space, a lot of these folks, maybe they'd rather just work from their home, you know, from the kitchen table. Maybe they can make follow up calls. Maybe they can make retention calls. You know, we can come up with, you know, programs uh, and processes for them and they could work. You know, they could be a thousand miles away from you and still work for you and help you become more productive. Okay. Uh, Number nine, recruit students. You know, not only students, but look at interns, okay? And all of this, don't make any of this one and done. It's kind of like, you know, following up on a lead. Don't just make it one and done. You have to stay after this. You have to promote. You have to nurture. You know, the process of sales isn't just a membership. It's everything. Nurture these folks. Nurture students. Nurture interns. I know with my clubs, probably my my best producing manager. She went from being an intern when the internship was over. I ended up hiring her. She oversaw a big phone room for me and marketing program. And she was making an awful lot of money coming right out of college. And she was extremely successful. And uh, she was my best one. But she kind of got her feet wet as that intern. Okay, she learned the lay of the land, the culture, you know, what she was good at, what she needed to learn. But recruit students. Number 10, recruit volunteers. You know, this is one of the things we do all the time with grand openings, you know, particularly for groups that have maybe just one club, because when you have one club and if you're doing a grand opening, you only have so many employees. You might need five or 10 or 15 more employees. Well, we'll look for volunteers. You know, who in our member base, who do we know, who in our network would like to volunteer to help us at this grand opening? And maybe we had some kind of a spiff for them. So, you know, look for volunteers. That's a great resource. Okay. Because, you know, don't wait to be perfect. I need this one person that does this. No, let's let's look for uncontested market. Let's look at differentiation. And how can we go after this? And then finally, hand out cards. Hand out cards to potential employees. You know, get a recruiting card. Could be your business card. But get, get a recruiting card and hand it out. Hand them out every day. When you go to a restaurant, you know, you meet somebody that waits on you or works the bar that, man, they, they've got all the ingredients. Or you're on a trip and the flight attendant. Uh, I mean, these are folks that I love to hire. I love flight attendants. I love waiters and waitresses. They are fantastic for this, okay? Because that's, they have some of the natural ingredients, I think, that it takes to be successful. But always be looking. You know, make it a point to hand out at least one card a day. Maybe get one card back every day. So 11 staff recruitment ideas for your gym. Take a look at them, whether you're brand new, whether you've been around for a while. And when you do this, treat it the same way 
You treat membership recruitment. We're doing it all the time. Okay. So folks, my name is Jim Thomas. My company is Fitness Management and Consulting. Uh, to learn more about me and my company and how we can help take your business to that next level, please check out those links below. And while you're here, if you've not yet done so, please subscribe, please hit the like button, and uh, please consider becoming a member to receive uh, additional information on how to grow and develop your business. And we look forward to seeing you all in that next video.